Bowles and Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson becomes the face of DIY fizzy drinks in a glossy promotional video for SodaStream. But wait, it turns out SodaStream started an independent state of fizz rail in occupied territory. Yes, as far as international law is concerned, one of their factories is in an illegal West Bank settlement. There's nothing worse than a fizzy drink that's settled. This was a particular problem for Scarlett because she was an Oxfam ambassador, as you can see in these inspiring scenes. And Oxfam campaigns against factories in the occupied West Bank, saying they further Palestinian oppression. So she was facing a tricky ethical choice. Do you stick with the charity that works to save the desperate, the dispossessed and the dying, or promote a machine that farts in your drink? In the end, she chose the drink. Sorry, guys. In informative coverage, SodaStream's CEO defended the factory, which employs 500 Palestinians who do depend on those wages. And he defended Scarlett, too. I know Scarlett, and she, she's not only uh, a superhero in her movies, she's a superhero in real life. Yeah, the incredible ice woman. Still, as the illuminating behind-the-scenes video made plain, Scarlett's conscience is clear. My favorite thing about SodaStream is that I don't feel guilty when I enjoy beverages at home. I don't feel like I'm being wasteful. Yeah, well, not everyone's got a SodaStream yet. As CNN ruthlessly depicted, some of the families living a stone's throw from the factory scarcely have a decent water supply. Never mind fizzy drinks on tap, that poor f***er would settle for a tap. Speaking of hose, the ad Scarlett sold herself for was pretty glossy and impressive. Like most actors, my real job is saving the world. Start with plain water, add bubbles, mix in the perfect flavor. Look, a soda that's better for you and all of us. Less sugar, less bottles. It's not less bottles, fewer bottles. F me, like this advert wasn't controversial enough. If only I could make this message go viral. Yeah, I think you've managed that. But no, to make the message go viral, Scarlett disrobes, sensationally revealing she's fully clothed? I don't really get it. I think we're supposed to think she's sucking that straw really sexily, but surely that's not enough. I mean, I guess if she was slurping that drink in front of that poor boy from the harrowing CNN footage, I guess that'd be an ironic juxtaposition that could go viral, especially when he looks plaintively down the lens, almost like he's looking at her, and she's just sort of looking back, taunting him. And then she could turn to camera at the end and say, mmm, evilicious. But that hasn't happened. It's all a bit flat, really. Could use more bubbles.